folks, and welcome back aboard the Lazy Train Two Two. Season One, Episode Two of Green Hill. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, tip: the way I uh, kick it off, like most survival games, is just you know um, gather your surroundings, figure out where you're at, and uh, I mean, if you've played through it a few times, uh, you get a general understanding of the map as to where certain things are. But, uh, I mean, when you're a new player, uh, obviously not in terms of where you're headed. Just definitely take it slow in this game, though. I uh, don't want to run. Uh, chances are you'll uh, uh, run into a snake, anthill, a spider, uh, even a cat. As in a uh, big cat, jaguar, uh, sooner than uh, being able to make any progress. Plus, you know, well, time is of the essence in the beginning. It's uh, crucial to just take it slow. Um, not too far from the Haven, which is a part of the map that is free from uh, enemy spawning and it's got a lake there plenty of fish uh, just a matter of you know collecting uh, primarily the Molinaria uh, bandage plants um, to be able to sustain myself I also need a rock <laughs> right away to craft an axe that's something you want to do right quick. But yeah, headed right now west and then definitely south to 45 west, uh, 30 south is the haven. Not too, not too far, so chances are we could probably make it. wonder if those are spoiled. I will find out later. Excellent game, beautiful too. Really uh, enjoying it. It's just uh, brutal when you don't know what what to do. You gotta play through it a few times, because everything in this jungle is trying to get you a DED. interesting spawn point. I can't reach it. Right. Uh, really been going, yeah, west around this mountain. Ooh, that was close. That's why you take it slow. Exactly. Uh, and plenty of stone here too. Yeah, it would be nice if you were like nearby the snake, it would actually start moving closer to you as opposed to staying in one place. Maybe after a certain portion of time, but uh, it seems to be harmless otherwise, if, even if you're close by. Now, <laughs> now we find all the stone. There's coconut too, definitely need uh, a couple of those. Oh, interesting, another one. I do not see it yet though. Ah, there it is. So yeah, holding the middle mouse button, you can throw like an axe or a spear. That, for some reason, did not work at all. Let's see if we can go around. Easy. I'm gonna try that again. Uh, yeah, breaking coconut one time. You can drink it by right clicking. And then just grab it. You uh, can do so many things with it, we'll get to that. For sure. Wow. Snake OP, please nerf. Alright, we're just gonna leave that for now. Need to head south as well as east. Alright. I mean, where I'm headed, there's plenty of rocks, so no worries now. Should probably craft a blade, though, as well as uh, 
That spear. Just too stone for a, a easy blade. A bow knife is much better in terms of a blade, and then obsidian tools are obviously the best for those that uh, do know this game. Rip. <laughs> Not too concerned of, uh, I mean, I should probably craft a spear, at least, just in case. Alright, so, a stone blade, long stick, and rope. For a decent spear, you can just use a, a long stick for a weak one if you really wanted, but it's worth it if you got the resources to craft a better one. Uh, exactly why you take it slow. Let's try to take this one out. There we go. And you can do it with uh, an axe for sure. do need a blade to be able to harvest uh, animals, so beautiful plants. Just wish they had actual purpose, so these ones specifically can't uh, break them for anything. Coconut there, let's grab that. Gotta head south though, rip. Uh, <gasps> Pretty much uh, at 45 west. Just gonna head a little east, perhaps around this. Uh, open. It's not gonna take me on too much of a detour. And haven't come across any Molinaria yet, so. Uh oh. <laughs> Definitely avoid those folks. That's an entire, like, village right there, too. I'm sure you can learn a few things over there, but I don't want to mess around right now, just especially when starting out. Um, looking forward to when they had armor, it's much needed. Now, I've been reading up a bit on the, uh, uh, the Steam forums, and uh, you know, it's a really uh, helpful community. Uh, got plenty of resources there. And uh, a tip was to basically avoid jaguars and uh, tribesmen because uh, unless you've got a bunch of bandages on you and prepared, I guess. Especially when you got like three against you, that's just rough. Uh, yep, southeast. And again, it would be excellent to come across Molinaria, but this is tobacco. Uh, pink flowers. Um, good for uh, against anti like venom wounds, basically. Anti venom properties is what it has. Uh, good for those snake bites. Man. Exactly why you gotta take it slow. <gasps> Alright, let's try that again. Much easier with the spear for sure. Perhaps can uh, get the placement though on the. Uh, I guess the sequence of it, the graphics. Uh, I guess we'll harvest that, sure. Peace, alright, just south now. Let's see if we can, uh, I mean, I've explored a bit of this portion of the map, for sure. Let's see if we can come across the other village that isn't guarded. 
along the way to the haven. Among, you know, the small and area plants, chances are, you know, you guys might see something in the uh, VOD that I totally missed. Uh, being those plants. <coughs> Just, uh, you know, everything's really well blended in. It's excellent in that sense that uh, everything just looks so natural part of the game. Uh, at least, you know, they highlight, uh, you know, that could be perceived as a good or a bad thing depending on the individual for sure, but they do highlight the items when you're um, nearby to pick them up, obviously. Oh boy, I've been heading in the totally wrong direction. Uh, of course. Let's see what's down there though. I'm curious. Okay. Let's uh, head back east and so I did say not run, but I kinda wasted time going this way. sure you know be cautious of your surroundings eating too many of these fruits though at one time will give you parasites so do mind that Tip. would hunt well yeah no no need to really hunt that but unless you know I could use it for bone soup um, I forget what animal it is to fear perhaps but uh, where I'm headed there's plenty of uh, fish to also um, acquire bones from just that uh, oh that's an anthill by the way definitely avoid those. You could get close to harvest them, but I really haven't fired that. Um, let's see here. Alright. Just gotta head south now. Oh, this is a nice spot to set up flat land, but, uh, you know, again, <coughs> most ideal location would definitely be, uh, the haven, when you're just first starting out, um, gotta make quite a number of journeys here in the future to be able to acquire all the, uh, recipes to learn. Alright, well, this is going to be interesting. Let's see how this goes. Sometimes scale these uh, walls, but you gotta have that energy to do so. Uh, so I'm not really in a good position right now. Um, see if we can get back up there, though. That's the direction I gotta go. Taking the long way, I guess. usually fine walking in the water here to risk uh, leeches but, uh, and usually not piranhas but sometimes there are yeah awesome drink that and take it 
Is that my first coconut? No, alright, awesome. Okay, only three. It's good to know. Yeah, exactly. This would be the perfect time to collect that rainwater too. Alright, southeast. Quite the journey. Man, it's starting to get late here now too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Good old little mouse, yeah. This is gonna get into the night time by the time we get there. Hopefully I reach it before uh, <laughs> before it actually turns night so I can uh, at least cross the bridge safely. Get set up there and then uh, start exploring the map, I'd say. <coughs> This would be nice to also come across some Molinaria. Feels like I'm starting to get over encumbered now too. Alright, so just so and a little more east. Yeah again, chances are I'll probably pass so many plants that you guys are gonna see. Grab everything here. Get out of here. Wondering if it actually saw me though. Alright, I think that should be good. Going south. <laughs> I'm sure you guys heard that. Don't want to mess with that day one either. <laughs> Usually, just avoid them. That's, uh, you know, I guess a decent thing about it is that you, uh, if you take it slow, you don't actually get targeted by them. You hear them before that happens, so you have a chance to back up. Another tobacco plant, which is alright, but really need. Uh, Molinaria. Oh no. I must be. Yeah, again, that's the problem with being there at night. You don't see, uh, you don't see everything. Uh, I clearly walked into an anthill, which gave me a rash. Get ahead east, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah pretty much here. Awesome. And it's just about to turn night too. See this log bridge I got across? It's impossible to see at night. So, there we are. Oh, you see that? And we're safe. This is the haven. Uh, I'll show you guys the waterfall right there. Beautiful. Beautiful graphics. Uh, we'll see it a lot nicer at the uh, during the day tomorrow, but now it's time to get to building a base and uh, having a save point at the least for this game. Uh, that's the only way to save, uh, by the way. Let's actually start out with a legit, uh, legit hut base shelter. Okay, uh, only issue with the, these plants having to place it here is uh, they always regrow, regrow back. to jump. Appears to be wondering. Placement is everything in this game. Uh, at, the, at the moment anyway. It's like impossible to um, have a the ideal base you're looking for. Otherwise, if you don't get it right, if I'm not mistaken, you know, if you get it, 
get it correctly here, you're able to pop uh, three, three frames in a row, which is decent space. Let's go for here and see what happens. Yeah, no, um, that's the only issue with building at the moment, is that it's qu quite finicky. Um, getting, getting placement down. Hopefully they allow the ability to... Stupid piece of to, shit! Uh, the ability to place it on angled uh, land to a lot better, where it still connects and such. I mean, you know, I don't want to be one of those folks, especially for the, for the fact that I haven't even played the forest, but, you know, comparing it to be it that or Seven Days to Die, uh, or any other survival game, you know, uh, it's it would be ideal um, if they got that down in terms of uh, the mechanics of the building. It is raining and uh, starting to become pitch dark. Let's see. I'll grab one more log from here. Then uh, try to craft the rest of the frame there. on me now too. Three yeah. apparently. Yeah. That was okay, that was the issue. <gasps> Not even uh, the rash anymore. Fair enough. Anytime you see the magnifying glass above the health bar, that's what that means. Nope. Just one long stick. Probably I'm missing it somewhere. I may not know, just uh, crafting like the stone axe for example uh, over and over allows for the durability to uh, increase the more you craft. Oh and um, you're able to hold up to five long sticks at once or three logs or six palm leaves. Fun fact. We're good now, though, in terms of uh, a base. All set. Um, you can uh, freely roam around this area. I mean, when you're on normal difficulty, I've heard in hard mode, even the safe haven is not safe. Uh, apparently, the uh, tribesmen come to hunt you. 
to spawn here. However, from what I've come to experience, even in normal mode, it's fine. Uh, to run around at night, no, uh, no spiders or snakes on this side either. But you got plenty of resources for fish and such, so that's good. Gotta get that rest soon now too. Um, chop some palm leaves. I'm hoping this is nope. Rip. That small leaf pile though, uh, you can just like leave it out to dry over time, and it'll uh, turn into dry leaves for tinder. Fun fact. You can also always acquire them from these palm leaves. Sometimes they drop dry leaves too. Get to, I mean, I want to make a bed, but let's make a palm roof first so I can save the game at least. Yeah, again, placement, right? Gotta look down at the ground to pop it uh, on top of the roof. Let's gather more of these palm leaves. This one plant right here honestly should do the trick. I swear that you hear some really trippy sounds though at night which make you think that there's some hostile animal nearby. But I mean it should be should be all good. I haven't run into any issues on uh this portion of the map. We're gonna get to uh, exploring the rest of it too uh, in this Let's Play series. I'm looking to be able to do exactly that. Those are the goals is explore uh, everything, get to uh, see all the POIs and uh, learn all the recipes, which is gonna be quite the adventure, no doubt. Usually, the way that I like to play games is, you know, without uh, death at all, but chances are, you know, um, I, I will, I will, that's just part of the game. However, we can finally save the game with building this hut, uh, or not really a hut, uh, just like a, a shelter of uh, some sorts of, it's more on, more costly on the resources, but uh, nice, because you can pop a campfire under it and save yourself from the rain which we're going to get to in the next episode. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, we'll get that sleep too, for sure. Catch you uh, catch, uh, next time. Two toots.